Hello everybody and welcome back to Undermine the Crystalline Update. In the previous episode, I have no idea. Do you know why? Because I haven't played this game in about a month. All the videos you guys have been seeing were recorded before Christmas. When the update came out on, I believe it was the 17th, I recorded this game for like three days straight, absolutely non-stop. I recorded, I don't know how many videos, like... 15 or something like that uh, and so I think it was about 15 some, something around that that mark uh, So I've basically just been having those upload as normal every three days, whatever um, And today is actually the day I'm recording uh, Well, obviously, but today the day I'm recording is actually the last uh, the last one that's gonna go out out of that backlog So I'm finally recording some more so I'm really happy to be back in on this game There has been a hot fix that has tinkered with a few things fixed a few bits and bobs um, But yeah We've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good standing for this next run here, and I think, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say I, I remembered last time we got the inverter, so that's brilliant. I'm just gonna check uh, every shop and make sure I've not got anything else to craft at any of the other places. But we're starting off with biscuits as well, which is just insane as a start for Sylph. Basically, the first shrine we find is going to be great for us. Uh, we're starting off with two bombs as well, which is always nice. And yeah, let's just hop into it. We're doing um, Ascension or Summoning Stone 14, should I say. So, we're going to be a fairly hard run. I do reckon this could end up being a loss simply because I am so out of practice. Sort of practice. But we just got Fortitude 3, 30% less damage received, which is brilliant. In fact, probably going to be something that saves us quite a lot over the course of this run here. Gold, as I said in the first few times I played this with this, this much money, not going to be as big of a concern to collect on these first few floors, but if it's easy enough to get, I'll collect it. Honestly, lightning bombs to start, I'm fine with that. I'm pretty happy with that, in fact, because we don't have a bomb upgrade already. It's going to give us one bomb anyways, and we can actually go and get a chest straight away here. Ooh, that's... Hmm... That's that's a that's a questionable one. That I don't know if I want to do that yet. Just because I'm gonna have to spend, uh, I'm gonna have to spend. Oh shit! I got hit by that saw blade there. Two bombs to get into that, but I've already spent the one. So depends. If I find another bomb this floor, then I'm, I'll be a bit more inclined to do that. But right now, I'm a little on the on the other side of that, and maybe not gonna do that. Don't worry about it. Them guys are easy peasy. Easy peasy. So do, I do apologise if I end up playing fairly badly here. Uh, that, it might be the case that, that I, I play kind of awful these first few floors. And I might end up not being able to finish this run out. Especially with it being the hardest this game has ever been for us. But I will do my best and try my hardest to, to make sure this run is... Uh, is of a good quality. I'm not going to bother bombing for secret rooms this floor. We're just going to head down. Basically, I'm waiting for our first shrine. There's our first shrine. So... What I think I'm going to do here is I am going to use biscuits pretty much straight away because then there is a chance. Oh my god, that was bad. I don't know why I decided to swing at that. Um, but then there is a chance, nice extra bomb there, that we get another shrine on the next floor worth of uses out, uh, usage out of the biscuits. So let's just go for extra health. And we actually got what seems to be a new picture for one of them. Minor curse level one, deal less swing damage. That's definitely a different picture there. Uh, so with this hotfix or update, whatever they recently did, it does seem that they've added some stuff there. And getting a key there means going into this item room is absolutely an easy choice. So I'm very glad to get that. And also golden, uh, golden popcorn there. A very nice item to get to start off with here. I'm gonna be going for mainly swing damage here. Although I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stick to it religiously. I'm just gonna see what my items take me. But for now. We're going to be playing more on the swing damage than we are anything else. I will blow one of these up just to see if we get a secret room sparkle. Doesn't look like it. Throwbo there. That's not Throwbo. That's uh, Burbo. That's the other one. We'll probably just let him run into the pit and kill himself. Yeah. Even though he probably could have got us a secret room on this room, I'm not going to bother with uh, pissing around too much. I want to be as quick as possible and try and get to our... Um, that was close, that. Yeah, I want to be as quick as possible and trying to get to our next shrine before our biscuits run out. We've not got that much time left. It would have to be, like, the next room sort of thing. Almost, almost, almost. Ooh, that was close. Good, good, good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, unfortunately, 
We're not getting lucky this time. Although we did get some meat there, which is nice. And we actually found a secret room as well. I'm going to hope that a uh, mine... Nah, damn it. I was hoping a mine could maybe open that for us. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a second usage out of biscuits there. But that that's just what it's going to be like sometimes. So let's bomb into here. We've got four bombs, so definitely worthwhile. Unfortunately, I completely forgot and electrified myself. Um, I'm going to look in the shop first before I open that cares chest. Because I could get some cares removal. And it might make that a little more advertising, a little more appealing to me. So let's have a little look-see here. So Kurt's stash is going to be something we take. I'm actually going to take everything here. So Kurt's stash, the two keys, troll sweats, lovely. That's going to heal us for each Kurt. Apparently that tracks properly now with the update, which is really nice too. So we'll take all of that. And yeah, I will indeed go and uh, take that Kurt's chest. Because we're low on bombs and keys right now. I could go for either. And a blessing, obviously, if you get a blessing. It's pretty good. And honestly, pretty happy with that. We got uh, Market Crash. Increase the cost. Oh, my God. Increase the cost of shop items. I'm really liking these. Um, this is very, 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 very nice for us. I'm really liking these new pictures. I think Market Crash, that one's a new one, maybe. Miniaturize it. I'm going to take straight away. Um, Venomous is, is very bad for us. But Miniaturize it this early on could lead to a pretty fun run here. I'm going to try and get rid of my curses as quickly as possible here. Probably just use Sylph to do that. And the thing is, as well, removing curses is going to give us uh, blessings with our lovely inverter here so it's actually going to pay off quite a lot to do that so definitely going to be my aim as soon as possible here obviously we should get a shrine this floor and hopefully the shop holds at least one cash removal really hoping more than anything to get rid of the um the venom one i the the uh metamorphizes more mimics one that one that one's also pretty horrible but do you know what we can deal with that that is definitely going to be something we want to buy and keep Shop in a bottle is really good. Take that, take that. Let's go for a shop in a bottle. We're going to be wanting to keep that elixir just for any time we get in trouble or just later on at the final boss if we can manage to keep it that long. Um, so we'll, we'll do that and just duplicate them. Get a few extra keys. I'll take the hat as well. A again, as I said, while my money is so unbelievably high, I'm going to be basically taking everything I can. It just makes sense. And we'll leave this little floor here. We don't need to rush now, really. We haven't got any biscuits uh, serving us or anything like that. So we can be basically kind of take our time here, not rush too much. Them spikes are a bit cheeky. Bit cheeky. Right, good job I got him. We need some swing speed. That would be lovely. Unfortunately, with Inverter, we don't really get to choose what we get. Um, we just get given what we get given. So right now, I'm going to remove a curse here. Um... Like I said, it will give us a blessing anyway. So let's remove the curse. See which one we get rid of. We got rid of a pretty good one. That's one of the better ones to get rid of. And I don't know what blessing we got for that. Oh, we got demolition. Increased bomb size. That's not great, but it's not bad either. Um, Bramble vest is pretty bad. Um, I'm probably going to actually go back to the shop. Buy that buy that potion that lets us reroll a few times. And try and do that and get something a little bit better than Bramble vest. Because... Honestly, the return damage, it can be nice, it can be useful, but it's it's, it's never something that's that's like major. I'm just realizing this 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 extra shop prices is actually quite significant, but we have like 90,000. 90,000 is a pretty big amount to go on here, so we're, we're mostly okay. I do want to say as well, these episodes are going to end up getting longer and longer and longer as we're doing unedited, unfiltered, completely like vanilla run sort of thing, showing you everything. There is going to be times where runs go an hour and a half long. Let's transmute that. Um... Deal more swing damage at high health. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wail on that too much. I'm just gonna take the slight damage increase at high health. Most of the time, hopefully at least, we're gonna be at high health anyway. So I think that's gonna be the biggest benefit for us for the vast majority of the time. Uh, so we'll just take that and keep moving on. I'm not gonna spend tons of health trying to get something insane. Now, it, this is sort of a questionable thing because if we um. If we take this, obviously we'll get another curse, but that's just another curse to remove, which means more blessings. But at the same time, what could it give us that we really need right now? Our bombs and keys are both in a good position, so I really don't think it's a good idea, especially while we still have this venomous one. I really want to get rid of that. I really want to get rid of that. Good, good. And also, actually, I was just about to say, we could open it, Simply for the fact that if we do open it, we get an additional chest. So we'll take we'll take the risk. We'll take the risk and we'll open it. Because we know for a fact we're getting a second chest. And we do have Kurt's stash as well, so... 
Honestly, that's really nice. Um, we got healing is less effective. That's fine. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm liking all these new images. I'm glad they've uh, they've taken the time to like put a bit more effort into some of these curses because apparently now there's only minor curses and curses. There's no major curses anymore. So these three are actually all major curses, um, which is strange to think considering we just got unlucky with them and uh, considering major curses are kind of a thing of the past now. But they, they still technically exist. They just don't visualize it anymore. It that's not what they're called anymore. So this is going to be a bit of a hard room for us. We're going to have to take our time with this one. I'm, I'm liking the fact that we got Hurl, actually. Um, having the ability to throw just that little bit further is going to be quite important, actually. Oh, my God. That was close to knocking me off the edge there. But we're fine. And everything's just getting hit by these bombs here. By these uh, little mines. So <laughs> it's not just me. And we've got to think as well that we do have the um, the amulet, the little neck piece that's going to be healing us for every curse we have. I haven't even been looking how much healing we're getting here. I think it is just a flat one heal for every curse you have. So we should be getting four a room right now, which is pretty decent. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, we get four a room right now, which actually I'm pretty pretty happy with. Okay, that's that's bad. That's our, that's our first time being hit by an enemy. Um... Okay, good, good. Oh, I got both of them. Nice. Yeah, it's our first time being hit by an enemy, so we actually got, like, venom poisoned there. We want to be careful about that. Them two in tandem switching up. There you go. Lovely. But the poison's not that bad for us right now, and we do have this troll sweat that's going to help us out later on. Okay, now I'm basically going to sit in this back corner and let all these come towards me. I try to, at least, because I... As you see there, I don't want to get poisoned. And the fact that poison slows makes it even more important that we don't get poisoned. Okay, is that room cleared? Got a chest room here. Bombushkas are something we probably want to reroll. I'll pick it up now because it's gonna give us it's gonna give us um a bomb either way. But if we can get away of rerolling that, that'd be really nice, because obviously we can't take two bomb upgrades anyways. And obviously I don't want to take Bombushka, so it'd be really nice if we could get something to switch that out. Hopefully the shop this floor holds something nice for us. Really hoping we can level up Sylph this floor. I doubt it's possible, but it would be lovely. Now, this is something that we kind of have to wail on, because two chests means four chests, so... That's a Mimic. I didn't even know the small ones could be Mimics. And I don't know where... There it is. I was going to say, I don't know where my other chest went. Right. Collect all that gold. Right, let's use that. Give me some stuff. Nice. Um, we'll we, we might as well save this for the boss, actually. And we've actually got a secret room behind this rock for some reason. I didn't even know they could spawn behind rocks like that. Uh, this is literally just one where we get a chest for planting a bomb down. So I'm going to do this. Good, good. Lovely. Honestly, the money isn't that important to us, but it's nice to keep topped up when we're purchasing a lot of things, especially when our shops are a little bit pricier than normal. So I don't mind about getting all that money, but I'm more into like the food and potions. And holy whacker moly. Boy, that is good. Right, let's see what blessing we get for this. We got extra swing damage. Lovely. Very nice one to get for us there. And I don't know what curse we ended up getting rid of there. There's another one of those another one of the major ones. I didn't actually see. Um right, so we need to beat the boss, so we gotta go around and do that. Uh this boss shouldn't be too hard, I'd hope. We've got an, a decent amount of bombs, which should make it alright. We've got good damage, and I think we can do this. Our curses aren't gonna be too um, too problematic. The only one that is going to be an issue is Venomous. Do you know what would be nice? If we got some shrines. We haven't had shrines in ages. Um, so we're going to have to be careful here. He is going to be poisoning us with every hit, which is going to be slowing us, which is just, it's going to lead to some problems. But I think if we take our time, we, we, we mind our, our step, we should be all right. I've just got to be sort of aware and alert of what he's doing and where he's moving, how he's moving. Stay on top of these bastards. If I can stay on top of these guys, I'll be fine for the most part. There you 
go. Damn it. Right. There we go. Good, good, good. Already taken off like one fifth of his health. And that always is going to deal 250, which is really nice as well. That one's managed to escape, which is a shame. Luckily, we're still one-hitting them, though. I'm mainly going to try and stay on top of the the little splodglings. I don't know what to call these guys. Oh, shit, that was bad. Oh, he doesn't poison me. Nice. Only enemies poison me. So if, if the little hatchlings do hit me, that is going to poison me. That's not going to get it. Damn it. Damn it. It did kill the little, the little hatchling thing, but unfortunately, I did not... Uh, not managed to get away from that so easily. There you go, got that. But he managed to spawn all of them there. That was that was real bad for me. It, it seems that we pierce them guys now though, which is really nice. Oh no, that was bad. Don't worry though, we do have the troll sweat, which is going to help us out. There you go. One one bomb is like a guaranteed like 400 damage basically. Because it does 250 on the impact, but then we get so much damage from standing still as well. And we get to skip that phase where he charges at us, which is really, really nice. I love that when he does that. Oh my god, that's close. Quit. Yes! I didn't think I'd get that then, but I managed to get it. Very, very nice. There we go, he's almost done. Good, good, good. This is going well. Okay, don't worry about him for now. There we go. And this is this is the final stretch. Not too bad at all. This this went extremely well. I'm I'm just gonna leave him to do this. See if we can there you go. I didn't know if we'd get a crit there, but the crit basically saved us quite a bit of time there. And we came away with a decent amount of health. Obviously got the chest, a little bit of extra gold on top, get us up to almost 90,000 yet again. Seems to be teetering on that edge there. Um, and yeah, we'll go down to the next floor, feeling pretty damn dandy about uh, that run so far. I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, Kurt Stash, I'm hoping to make that pop in a room where we can do some duplicating, things like that. Obviously, it should drop a few cash removals, which would be really nice. It doesn't always, but it usually has a pretty high chance to, so we'll try and play into that if we can. Okay, I managed to get out of the way of him. I didn't even realise there was one of them thrower guys over there. Oh, he did manage to get me there. Really, what we've got to do whenever we get poisoned is we just got we just got to be very attentive to get out of the way as soon as we can, just so we don't get hit again like multiple times. I'm actually gonna use my troll sweat now, to be honest. It's probably gonna heal us back to full, or near to at least. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that enhances it like the uh, minus flask, which I'd love, but we can't always be so lucky. Wow, hell is nice, but it's very not nice when uh, <laughs> it takes for ever to come back to you. We might want to actually invest in some throw speed just so that the throwing's not quite as detrimental. I didn't even use my, uh, I didn't even use that. I just realized, what? Oh, I got stuck on the bush. Are you kidding me? Wow. This almost went really badly, but we're getting a chest for it, so I don't give a damn. Chests are the best. I'm never going to go for the gold first, apart from when we get to the later floors, but all the consumables, yes please. Yes please. It'd be great if Kurt Stash could drop chests. Now that would be the ultimate dream. And we did just get a blessing here, a shrine. I'm going to hopefully, uh, well, I, I'm going to remove curses on it, because we're going to get blessings either way. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I forgot that these guys are like immune to, to uh, throw now. I'm going to go over and get these guys, you know. There you go, got you. Might as well take you guys out. You've got to be kidding me. Just sit on right on top of that knight. Little bastard. Whoa, that didn't kill you. Oh, shit. Got him. Very nice. Yeah, we'll go to our shop and see if we can get some biscuits first, because that would be really, really nice. And we maybe even can go to our item room and see if we get Cosmic Egg. It's unlikely, but it could happen. Um, let's, let's heal her. 
There you go. Get to full health. And we'll spend some health trying to reroll these potions. Into ones that could maybe help us a little more. Um, Let's just recover some health back. Chest and a bottle is actually great for us. Golden chest isn't quite what we're looking for. Oh, there's a mimic. Excuse me, mimic. I wonder if the amount of curses you have increases the amount of mimics you find. It probably does. We might as well just take a true sight and see if we can find anything along the way as we go, sort of thing. It's, it's never going to hurt. And yeah, I'm going to try and find our item room before we go to our double, uh, double shrine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you alone until I get rid of these guys, just because they can poison me incredibly easily. Hell, really showing its true potential there. I really love the fact that them guys um, make you have to swing at them now. This is not a nice room at all. These guys already poison though, so it's not as bad getting hit because we know they're gonna poison us. What the fuck? Like, I was stuck in animation there. Yeah, we knew you were going to poison us anyway, so I'm not as bothered about that. By the way, something that's really good that they've done. Um, if you found every single bl blueprint and you have 999 uh, purple gems, the chests that contain purple gems no longer spawn at all. So that's going to be really nice once we finally do that. Um, just throw that just in case. Let's see. Just in, just in case there's a cosmic egg. We didn't get cosmic egg. Uh, we didn't go back and reroll Bambushka, but we didn't have any chance to. I forgot about that, but... Unstable concoction. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to help us reveal a few extra secret rooms, a little bits and bobs like that. Uh, I am going to walk near some walls here since we do have a true sight on. I haven't been really paying much attention to the true sight right now, but we'll try and get some usage out of it at least. Although, basically, all the rooms we've gone through so far don't really give us any opportunity to. So, what are you going to do? So, let's just do some curse removals here. We're going to get a blessing either way. We've got extra heartiness, which I like. And please, please, please get rid of the Venomous one. Oh my god. Left with just the Venomous one. We got some Savagery there, though. And that's nice. It basically means we can remove our curses for what is essentially free. Um, we're going to head down to the next floor here. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving this whole Inverter Sylph thing. I'm still very sad that Sylph still hasn't leveled up, though. Like, come on, Sylph. Like we've we've got very little shrines this this run so far. I don't know what it's be what what's been the cause really, but All right, get rid of you. Okay, we found two secrets here. One one's right here. Look, I'm actually gonna use that because it will lightning him. And do that one as well. Let's hop down here first. See what we get. See what we see. I'll take it. That's very nice. Troll sweat's lovely. I'm just going to take the troll sweat right now. And we got the fucking same one back again. So again, these two need to be removed as soon as possible. But I'm fine with that. Um, absolutely nothing in here. So this one's a light the torch room. They have changed how, how uh, torch lighting works. Now it's a bit more risky. You can't just do it by throwing your pickaxe through some fire. You have to do it by uh, like setting yourself on fire and running up to them. Which is a good change and a bad change. I understand the reason. Oh my god, this is bad. I understand the reasoning, but I think it's, it's it makes the game something that wasn't meant to be difficult, unnecessarily difficult. But I'm fine with it also. Let's do that. Might as well get some poison on our attacks. There goes. That didn't even poison him. Come on now. There you go. Bomb that through. Come on. Give us some cash removals. Hey, little rat. What are you doing in there? We've got another secret room here. Lovely. And I'll probably try and remove some cases before we do that, but we'll remember it's there. Or at least attempt to. I know that I forget. I'm sorry. Sequence breaker. It's weird, but I guess we'll take it. It's, it's, it's like, it's not very good, but we can hop over gaps and stuff, which is nice. Although, I won't be using it too much. That's a bit horrible. You can't, like, spam through it. You've got to wait for your pickaxe to come back, otherwise. You get yourself into some trouble there. But, we'll, we'll take it. We'll see what goes, what goes down. 
Um, overstock the shop is kind of an obvious one. We kind of always want that. Um, food sometimes duplicates itself. We'll try and roll for something a little better there. Uh, let's just eat some food up. Yeah, we'll try and roll for something a little better. Bishop bombs will definitely take one of them. Um, did we take our item? Yeah, it was Seekin's Breaker. What am I talking about? Sewing kit really isn't what we need. Let's just bomb it for one more go. Fucking the bomb upgrades. I swear to God, game. The bomb upgrades are kind of insane right now. Like, I must have seen basically every single bomb upgrade so far. We're not really getting what we need so far. And we're just not getting any shrines either, which is really ticking me off. We have, like, the best build for... Do you know what? The throwing thing with... It's, it's actually really good with Seekins Breaker. You just run up to them and keep pressing it, and it, like, fucking barrels you into them. Oh, no, we got some shrines here. Okay, that's fine. We can remove both of our cases here. And this should level up self, I think. We're still left with the fucking poison one, my god. There you go. What have we got now in terms of blessings? We've got a bit of everything. Um, extra heightness, extra throw damage, extra bomb damage, extra savagery. Yeah, we kind of got a bit of everything. The, the one downside to Inverter is obviously it's nice to have, but you do end up getting a lot of random things that you may not need, but it's not always the biggest of problems. Very nice. Oh, god damn. I'm throwing too fast. It's it's hurting me. Right, cool. Got that floor done. Head down to the next one. Uh, so we, we've now got two elixirs. Two elixirs sets us up for the for the final boss fight or whatever, um, which is really nice. And we leveled up our sylph, which is lovely. Hopefully this floor we can make some use out of that. I do love doing that, though. If we can get some throw damage, just keep wailing on him with that. Not getting poisoned now also. Pretty brilliant. That. Boom, 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 boom. It's so fast. And we got a shop pretty much straight away here. Lovely. What you got for us? A cash removal, which will hold. Um, I'll just take that now because I want to keep these on me. Buy that up, buy that up. I'm not big into bomb doubler, to be honest. It doesn't, doesn't sell itself to me right now. So we're going to leave that there. I'll start picking up gold when we get to the next floor. Right now, I'm just not that bothered. Right, so these guys we've got to be careful about throwing on. Oh, shit. I do like I do like using it for stuff like this. If we can... If we can actually use it correctly, it's it's pretty decent to, to get around enemies. Like, no use sort of thing. And it, it, we can't teleport ourselves into holes, which is lovely. Uh, so, right, now we can actually take some blessings we want. So, um, Throw Speed doesn't actually matter, so let's take Savagery. As you guys know, me and Savagery sitting in a tree. Be less swing damage. Ugh, it's fine. We can get rid of them all with that anyways. Um, then, in fact, let's do that now. Get rid of them. And let's go with some Exuberance. We got another level of it. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, we can use these twice now. I forgot about that. Even though I just used the last one twice. What you talking about, Willis? Um, and we got more. We got more fortitude. We've got more toughness. Um, got extra exuberance, extra savagery. Yep, cool. And when we're one curse away from Kurt's stash, I'd really like to get another doubler before we end up getting on with that. Another one of these, then that'd really pop off. Uh, also, by the way, the increased with, with the patch, they also increased the cost of Black Rabbit's shop depending on the dependent on the floor you're on, rather than just having it be the same cost every floor, which is good because it only costs like 400 on um, on some floors of minigame, and it, it was just well cheap. I never really understood that, so I'm kind of I'm kind of glad they did that, and it's understandable. Three bombs for minus flask is very good. Uh, take that. Good, good, good. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty good deal, in my opinion. Pretty good deal. Right. Oh, shit. Okay, this guy. Unfortunately, you can't teleport to it if it's in the air. Like, if you if you throw it... 
Like, if you throw it, but you throw it while you jump, but it's not actually on the floor, you can't teleport through it, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be a little more usable if that wasn't the case. Ooh, that guy almost, almost got me there, but we can finish them both off with a nice quick throw, and our item will be something we really want. Deal even more critical damage. Love it. Love it, boy. I love it. Right. So, is there any rooms we haven't... Yeah, there is a room we haven't been to here. Is, is it just the normal room? No, it's not. We'll go back down and check that out. I do want to just check something really quick. I do apologize. I've got messages from all sorts of people. Um, cool. <laughs> no problem, my dude. But it must be some IRL stuff. Hit me up when you wanna try some recordings. Cool, sorry about this boys. I'm setting up I'm I'm setting up um a little maybe co-op Isaacs with uh with one of the other YouTubers I, I talk to. Um guy called Fevril. Fe Fev am I pronouncing that right? I always pronounce it wrong. I've I've spoken about him to other people and I always mispronounce it so I'm gonna I'm gonna get the pronunciation pronunciation right far farville farville fra, fra, far, fra. So you, you'll have to tell me in the comments he, you, he might be watching so if he is he can tell me because <laughs> fuck if I know I'm just butchering his name terribly I do apologize um but yeah so I, I don't know if any of you heard of him he's oh my god we got two hello we got three Biscuits, yes. Uh, but so I've been watching him for a while. Basically, he, he posted some of his content on um, on the Undermine Reddit, uh, sorry Discord, where I post some of my content. Uh, well, he posted it on the Reddit first, actually, and I told him about the Discord, and uh, and he started posting it over there. I, I believe that was that was him, anyways. I, I told someone on the Reddit, um, and I ended up checking out his content because his thumbnails were pretty decent. He had custom art and everything. It kind of enticed me in, and I watched him, and he is basically he is basically like. If Northern Lion was, like, spliced with a few other people, like, he's got some really, really good banter. He plays similar sort of games. He's just, he's a very, very, very talented uh, shit talker, which is, like, the best thing in YouTube. Like, he can talk about the most randomest crap and make it super interesting for such a long time. Like, hey, it's Kurt Stash. Right. Um, take my fortitude. Right, so let's leave that for now. We might be able to come back to that and double that. Uh, yeah, let's leave that for now. I'm taking all the fortitude you can get our hands on, by the way, if you haven't noticed already. Go for more healing. Oh, what's that one? Healing is less effective. Ah. I'm really liking these new ones. So I really, 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 really want to double that more than once. Oh, sugar. I forgot about biscuits, people. I forgot about biscuits. I do apologize. I'll make sure to use it on the next one. It shouldn't make too big of a difference because we probably weren't going to level up from it this far anyways. So it shouldn't actually be that detrimental to us. But it's still... It's still a shame. It's still a shame. Oh. Um, more meat. Meat rains from the sky. Okay, we're on the we're on the boss floor now. A little bit scary. I'm 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 not super well prepared for this. I don't think. We'll see. I might be fine. Let's get it going. <laughs> it's just great. Boom 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 boom. All right, let's hop in here. Hippity hop, skibbity scop. Reduced elemental damage, definitely, especially going into this next fight here. Unfortunately, we don't have another duplicator in here. I'll still see if I can find one anywhere else. I'll buy these keys as well, actually. I'll still see if I can find one anywhere, anywhere else, because I would like three curse removals and get rid of all our curses and get a bunch of blessings. But it's not always going to be possible. Might get one from this chest. Who knows? You got an antimatter. Did, did that chest just insta-die? What even happened there? Oh no, there you go. 
It turned into a mimic and then got stuck in the wall. Strange. An antimatter is probably something we want, but I can't really take it with me right now. I can take it with me after, to be fair. Let's open the secret room up. After we've used our duplicator, we can take it in. <gasps> there you go. So, we definitely could have leveled up with using biscuits this floor then. I'm a bit, I'm a bit upset about that. I'm a little bit upset about that. Okay, we got... We got mega bastards in the house. I'm gonna try and take these guys out first. We only got hit for a very small amount. Ow! Shit. Don't worry, we've got re reduced elemental damage, it's fine. Good, good, good. Got you. Nice. And we got our item room up here. Hey, bossy, 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 bossy. No, let's not let's not use biscuits this floor. Just because if we do, we're gonna have to fight the boss. Actually, we could fight the boss then come back. Um Yeah, we're not gonna get a, a, a thingy potion. So let's let's go fight the boss and then we'll come back. But I've got to remember to come back. If I don't, I'll feel stupid. So let's go duplicate all of our stuff and get some cash removals and all that jazz. Really don't care about clumsiness too much. Ooh. Nice bit of food. Bit of healing there. Mm -mm -mm. Spicy, tasty. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, boy. Right. Duplicate. So we got a few extra cash removals. Apparently cash removals activate by walking into them now. Never used to do that, which is a bit strange. Not gonna complain though. Um Troll Sweat, I'm just gonna take like now and take it in with me, sort of thing, while it's active. Uh I don't think we have an item we want to get rid of. What item did we just get? Yeah, we just got this swing damage one. So Tincture's fine. I'd like to take that with me, but I'd also like to take antimatter a bit more. So let's do this, shall we? Let's do this. Make our way to our boss. Then as soon as we've done our boss... Wait a minute, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to waste a bomb here. But we do have 26, so it's not exactly a waste. Just to make um, the transition a little bit quicker for us. For uh, getting our shrine used and back, back down again. So I'll pop this wall open here. Get that open. So basically I can walk through here. Wait, we've got another secret room down there. Walk through here. Walk straight back into this room. Straight up. Use the shrine. Get to the next floor. And try and get biscuits used again on the next shrines. So these chests are the ones that I'm talking about that won't show up once we've reached 999 and got all of our uh, thingies, which is nice. Right, so throw damage isn't going to be too big of a too big of a get on this fight. Uh, it's not going to be too too uh, important, but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, this might end up being a major major misuse of biscuits, but we'll see. So we've got to be real careful on this fight because for one, it does a lot of damage, but for two. With uh, the sequence breaker, we could end up doing a lot, like, serious, serious damage to ourselves. We've got a decent amount of exuberance here, though, so... Try and stay on the grind of getting certain rocks. There you go, got another one. Wow, we stayed still for a long time there. We can actually get two. No, we can't. I was like, we can actually get two before it slams down another game, but we can't. Right, get this one. This one's going to be an easy get. Good, 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 good. Going well so far. Luckily, Exuberance is really, really killing it right now. Okay, we're going to have to play this a little safer. Getting a crit's really nice, because we're just dealing huge damage on the crits. Good, good, good. Wait for him to get a bit still. There you go. This is just great. 
we can get two rocks at once, that's perfect. There we go. And he's literally one away from death right now. So I think if we hit his arm like once, yeah, there you go. We got him. And literally no worries at all there. No worries in the slightest. So now we've got to go back up. This is going to be this is going to be a bit weird. So I go back up around. Go away, arrows. No one needs your shit, boy. No one needs your shit. <laughs> Jump. Jump up the jam. Jump it up. Uh, so use that. Then fortify. I'm going to try not to spend too long making choices here. Savagery. And we go. Then hopefully we, make, we go down this way. We can make it to the next floor get ourselves something a bit spicy in terms of very, very close um, shrines, and that should levels, level us up on the first shrine, I think, with the level we get going down to the next floor, because the level we get, the level, sorry, the XP we get from going down to the next floor does actually get affected by biscuits, I have noticed, so. Oh my god, we're so close. There you go. Come here, Red Skelly. Good, good, good. All done, all done. Nope. Got this guy. Come on, dude. Stop being a bastard. Die. There you go. Right. Now we can biscuit it up. I'll use a curse removal there. We level up. Beautiful. Exuberance. We get two exuberance here. And there you go. We need, no we need not nor worry anymore about that. And extra health. Cool, cool, cool. Very happy about that. Now we can remove some curses in the future and get a bunch of money. A uh, bunch of money? Well, I don't know. Not money. Um, get a bunch of blessings. That's going to be lovely. And you can see our exuberance is, is popping off already. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That was terrible. <laughs> that was just me being dumb. Straight up dumb, fool. Oh, my God. We swing so fast. Inverter is such an incredible thing. And Sylph with, like, this much leveling up is great. Hey. Oh, I knew it. Heck off. I had a feeling, but I just thought I'd gamble. Just sometimes you go for a cheeky gamble. Yeah, sequence break is quite difficult with enemies like this. Oh my god. Luckily, we've got so much damage reduction right now that we're not really taking much damage at all. We've still got to be careful. Oh my god, we got a third one. We got a third one. So unfortunately, this does mean we only have one potion slot. But at the same time... I don't give a motherfucking shit. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Because this is kind of incredible. Having three of these is is pretty damn good. I wish there was... um. So I wish they'd change the... Change the blessing that makes it so that... Uh, so that you get increased potion duration. Change it so that it does increased potion duration. And increased potion drink speed. That would make it really, really good. I like, make a blessing that I'd want quite a lot. Oh, the map is beautiful. I almost said wonderful then. What does Bunderful mean, Turtle? You might be asking. Bunderful is a great word that I created for no reason. It means nothing. I'm just going to take that straight away. I'd rather not have it in our potion slot. But lovely. Nice bit of, amount of, bit of amount of a gold there. Bit of amount of a gold. Yes, Turtle. Yes. Exuberance is so nice just for mining gold. Just for picking up gold super quick, nice and easy. Take that wall out. Oh, fuck potion. Is that oh, that's the, the berserker one? We don't want that. I was wondering what that was then, but she's, she's just been a while. On to the next floor. I do have another message. Let me check that in just one one moment. Let's have a little look-see. Uh, uh. Announcements. Oh, my God. 
Fabrol's put up an announcement on his Discord. I'll look at that later. It's not a personal message to me. I'm guessing it's just saying why he's been away from YouTube for the past few days. He's been uh, having a little bit of a break, which is absolutely fine. As any as any YouTuber should, any person that's, that's on YouTube should take the time out of their day, well, out of their day, out of their schedule, to, uh, to have a break. To just chill from YouTube for a bit. Whether that means working quite a bit so that you've got videos still going out like I did over Christmas to get the break, I don't know, but still, it needs doing because people overwork themselves to shit on this platform. We really do. Ooh, Duplicator. It's a little bit late to be getting Duplicator, but I, I cannot complain. It's, it's very, very good. It's very nice to have. Very nice to have indeed. Honestly, I'm happy to see these chests because I think we still do have a few blueprints left and I really want to get to 999. And also, they have all the chests in them, which is beautiful. A bomb. Ooh, and a key. A key for free for, for me, a key. And there you go, look at that. Um, there's nothing really I need there, so I'm just going to remove. Um, let's go for more HP. More beautiful, more beautiful. I can't believe we've got eight fortitude right now. Love that damage reduction, I do. Love it. Gotta love me some damage reduction. It's very, very nice. I don't know. I don't. I still don't know how it stacks because surely this isn't given as an eighty percent damage reduction. That would be insane. That'd be way too powerful. It must be like the more you have, and it'll give you like ten percent reduction, then eight percent, and sort of whittle its way down so it's not too powerful. Because otherwise, it would be kind of insane. Wow, this is a room. It's a room and a half. This is Do you know what? We can actually take care of basically all of these statues with this potion. So we can just do this. Just see if we get anything. Actually kind of nice, that. <laughs> We've already got a float boost, but take a float potion. Why not? Wow. It's not even that much gold. It's just a lot of pieces of gold. It's finally stopping. Golden popcorn is chilling out. We might as well pick it up. We've got the time. We're on 47 minutes and we're not even on Nori yet, so... This is going to be a fairly long run, but I don't mind. I'm in it for the long haul. Ow, excuse me. But seven, only 17 damage on this floor from their enemies. Normally they do like 50. It's kind of insane. Yeah, dudes, I'm just gonna fucking face tank. Let's just face tank enemies right now. It's not even a problem. Actually, I mean, I shouldn't really because that's a lot of damage on this stuff. <gasps> Cash removal. Thank you. I don't even know what blessings it's given us. I really wish Inverter would tell you what blessings it gives you. It would be nice. Um, we're gonna take the increase. Actually, I might I might go buy one of those rerolls. I'm pretty sure there was two reroll machine uh, spawners in the shop, and I'd, I'd like to reroll. I think there was, anyways. Yeah, there was, cool. So, let's do that. Make one of those. Yeah, I'd like to reroll both of those, because I'm not throwing enough for that to be good, and obviously, seer bombs are, like, the worst thing ever. They bad. They pretty bad. Right. Keyblade is interesting. I mean, flat out, it's 24 damage, so let's take it. 24 damage is, is nothing nothing to turn a nose up at, so I'm pretty happy to have that straight off the bat. Um, and obviously, it scales up pretty incredibly. As I say, I'm not going to be using throw. I start throw damaging. Oh my god, these enemies are the worst. Got them. Don't destroy the skeleton. No. Let me peep him. Okay. I regret my decision. Should have just killed him. <laughs> right, down to the next floor. I need to keep on top of my gold a little more, actually. I've, I've been kind of ignoring it. I need to keep on top of it a little more than I am. Bomb that. Put some bombs. Yay, and decrease throw speed. Honestly, that's a major one. Technically a major case, or regular case, should I say. Uh, but it's not that big of a problem, as I just said. Throwing is not going to be something we do a lot. 
I'm not going to be doing something we do a lot at all. But yeah, I'll try and I'll try and make an effort to uh, to try and. Oh my god. Try and what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Not get hit, maybe. I can't remember. Oh, pick up gold. That's the one. Pick up gold. I was just talking about it and instantly forgot. Actually, with the sequence breaker, it might be kind of nice having a slightly slower uh, throw. It might actually be slightly beneficial to us. If we could get an impish key bomb, that'd be really nice. That's lovely. Ten fortitude. Ten. Imagine if we just took no damage. It was actually just flat 10%. There's no way, though. If it was, that would be insane. Um, so, gonna go with some cleave. We haven't actually got any cleave yet, I don't think, so... A bit of extra distance on that. I'm just gonna remove here, because there's nothing else good there. And what you got for us? Exuberance. And... Savagery. Okay, cool. Pretty happy with all of that. What extras did we get there? Don't really know. We've got a crazy amount of exuberance, though. Absolutely crazy. And we are getting the extra healing from the uh, from the charm. So it's not all bad with the, with the curses we have. And our health isn't even that low, to be honest. If we crit these guys, it's just... They're dungeon rings. Oh, I love having just even just one... Um, level of the cleave blessing. Making that swing that size that much bigger. It's, it's just really nice. It just alleviates a lot of the stress of getting close to enemies. Which means you can get, like, sort of get multiple enemies with one uh, swing as well in a lot of rooms. Good, good, good. So far, so good. I think this is the boss. Did, wait, did we miss the shop up here? Did we not go in the shop? What am I doing with myself? Ow. We always, always want to go to the shop. If we can get another elixir, that'd be insane. Let's have a look. See, all food cooks itself. A cash removal. We'll take the cash removal, definitely. Um, we'll do a bit of re-rolling, I guess. Golden tooth. I'll take it, actually. Not going to be bad for us right now. Of course, let's buy the uh, a numerous amount of keys, because that's going to up our damage by a decent amount. Yeah, it's pretty damn good, that. Pretty damn good indeed. The only curse that's really hurting us right now is brittleness, because it kind of goes completely against what we're trying to do with our 10 levels of fortitude. But, even so, I think the 10 levels of fortitude outweigh it by quite a bit. Alright, let's take out all the spiders first. Most annoying enemies. Oh, damn. There we go, there we go. I'll try it. Nope. Every time. Ooh, we found a secret. It's the first time we found one of them in a little while. Another key there as well. Keep him. Give me a key ring. One key ring. A piece of formium. Oh my god, why did they give you like a, uh, like 20 piece, 30 piece, not like one? It's such a worthless drop. Open that up. I know it costs a key, but there's a good chance of us getting more keys from it, so it's always worth the risk. Even though we didn't get anything there, it is worth the risk, I think, still. Lovely. Bit of extra gold there. We're, we're literally, we're only like six, seven thousand down from in terms of money from where we started this run, so based on the money we're going to get from bosses, we're absolutely fine here. Um, oh my god. <laughs> that is not a good choice at all. Uh... I'm going to take the Whale and Boots just for the speed increase, purely, but that is not a good choice. At least now that we've seen Galoshes, I, I know that with Duplicate, once you've seen Nightem, even if you don't pick it up, it removes it from the pool, so we won't see Galoshes anymore now, which is nice. Um, Golden Bombs, definitely, definitely decent. Yeah, let's take Golden Bombs, just because we might be able to use them quite a lot. Just to up our gold later on. Into the point where, uh, into the point where it becomes pretty damn powerful, pretty damn, pretty damn good gold find. Should hopefully come away with like, not even, not twice as much, but like a good amount more than what we started with here. And we do have our boss on this floor. 
Just sit in this corner, wail on everything. You'll be fine. Still got me as well, though. Still, still managed to poison me, but back up to full HP. Ain't no stopping us now. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful run. Nice. It's a, it's a really nice way to, to re enter myself back into this game. A nice chill run where we just get to be simply overpowered. Right, let's go and get that secret room. Does look like this is going to be like an hour and a half of a run though, considering. Fine with that. Ooh, uh, I forgot about that. Golden bombs actually drop gold when you blow up the secret room walls now. Which is nice. Meat. I'll just drop it in here, I might as well. Not as if they're going to steal it yet. Pushed a piece in the, in the gap anyways. Right. We're good. I'm, I'm really noticing, actually. We've got two sets of boots now, so we're getting a 10% speed increase. It's rather nice. Yeah, no, fella. No. No, big man. Just stop. Shop, what do you hold for us? Absolution. Ooh, diversion. Very nice. Um, Absolution's nice, but I'm not going to bother with Absolution. Just going to take us a while to make that work. Turn of life, I'll take turn of life. Yeah, it take it take us a while to make absolution work. I'm just gonna stick with what we've got and be happy with it. Nice, that's a lot of gold in one room. Back up to eight four thousand after that little shopping spree there. So as you can tell, gold really isn't much of an issue, especially when we start bombing literally everything. Start bombing the ever fuck out of everything. Yeah, I'll do this. Or I won't. Because whale and boots are garbage. Completely forgot about that. Whale and boots are the worst. <laughs> they stop you from doing those. And they're quite common. There's quite a lot of those. Okay, so we do have Nori here. Um, I think we're prepped for Nori. We've actually got 12 45. We've still got our two Brit on us, though, which is annoying. You didn't manage to get rid of that. What's this one room that we're missing up here? There is technically a room that we haven't been to. Ow. Would not like to go into the boss knowing that I missed... Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's just the it's just the entrance room. It's fine. It's me being stupid. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Taking double damage from that there. We do, have, we do have three elixirs if we really struggle with this fight. But my hunch is we're going to be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. We've got such fast exuberance and such a good damage reduction going on that even if we get hit, I don't think it's going to be that devastating. And the, the damage paired with the speed is like, yeah, paired with the crits, paired with everything. It's just, as you can see, kind of wrecking him. Hardest this boss has ever been, by the way. And he is really not doing any of his annoying attacks either, which is really nice. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Immediately disproven. Right, come on. Get the next one. I don't care about taking damage to that. Just get this going. Fortunately, didn't quite get the last one done, but that's fine. We should be okay. We've got two hands now. We've got to be careful for that. Weird that he's spawning both on top of each other. Okay, this is an easy one. Let's just get this little. There you go. And then chill out so we can easily take him out here. Not, well, not kill him, but very close to. There we go. Really not a hard fight at all. We've, we've really got something going on this build that's making it a little hard for him. And there you go. Up to almost 100,000 already, so... Got all that gold back, which is nice. Um, and onto the last floor, which I think we've got a pretty good chance at winning. Uh, I think that our elixirs are what's going to make it a, a pretty home run, a pretty big home run here. But you just got to think that sometimes we have died while holding elixirs because it does take a while to use the elixirs, and that can be a problem. Hey, little shrine room. Um, I'm going to take more fortitude because it's just it's insanely powerful right now. More cleave, that's really good. 
We can use it three times as well because we've got diversion. More HP. Let's do some cash removal now. Yes, got rid of the one I wanted. Good, good, good. More damage. And what's what's left to get? What's that one? Decrease swing speed, that's fine. Still got pretty fast swing speed. So we got 14 of that. We got five of that. We got 14 exuberance. We got four cleave. We got seven of that. This is this is pretty damn good. We got some good stuff going on right now. Good stuff going on. Hopefully our shop's got a decent amount of cash removal available. That'd be really nice. Oh my gosh. Just so glad that we're receiving so little damage. Otherwise, it's be quite annoying. But these enemies ain't got nothing on us. I'm really hoping we can get like a good amount of keys. There we go. There's a key. Four damage from a mine. Four. Gotta try and use my bombs a little more proactively to get some get some gold. I'll try to at least. Ooh, a salamander's tail. Definitely something we want there. So we'll use a bomb there. Get a little bit of extra gold. Just as, as much extra as we can get. Really, I'm not going to go bother picking every single thing up. Because we are going to come away from this run with more than we start with. For, like, 100%. But still. There's some keys in there as well. Lovely. Wow. That's some gold right there. Sorry, Pilpers. I'm going to try to take all of this from you. You can have a few little bits that I leave behind, but most of it's mine. There you go. You can have those bits. Yeah, I'm liking that we find so many of these chests. Getting us closer and closer to that 999. Very important for us. I don't know if, how many blueprints we even have left, to be honest. I wonder if it includes Rat Bond, because Rat Bond you can't get from those chests. Probably does. Oh my god, even those guys that love like one of the most damaging things in the game dealt like 40 damage to us. The freeloaders are out here. It's not all that great for us. I'm not even noticing damage we're taking right now. It's that good. We do have a, one of those potions. Not that bothered about that. We've got enough money. We don't really need anything for free. Unless we get uh, the Chaos Boy. We don't need this, but I'll take it. And we've got two Chaos Removals here, so I'll take both of those. Lovely. Uh, don't need any of that, I don't think. I'll take the key, though. A little bit of extra damage. Keep moving on. We've got two secret rooms up here. Two little secret rooms. I love the fact that we're getting gold for just popping the walls open now. That's so good. That's such a, such a good buff to golden bombs. I don't know who in there was complaining that golden bombs were weak, but apparently the devs thought so. Ooh, an extra bit of cleave. Very nice. It's a double one as well. You've got to remember that. So cleave is up to like six now, I think. Which is getting to the point where we can hit a lot of things in the room at once. Which I likey. And an extra key there. Marveloso, marveloso. Right. I did 17 damage. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my god. If we could get like a gold duplication potion. Wow. That'd be kind of mental right now. We're getting so much gold from just basic things. It's crazy. We're good. Pop all them open. Keep on popping, keep on going. God, we, we made a lot of gold this run. Chance to not die. That's that's kind of insane for us right now. We we, we don't need it, but 
literally the chance to not die. How could you say no? It's basically like uh, Guppy's Collar from Isaac. Although it's a bit better than Guppy's Collar. Because I'm pretty sure like it gives you a bit of HP, doesn't it? Maybe? I can't remember. Not even worrying about the damage at all right now. There you go, that should open the secret room for us. There you go. This is the sort of gold that even though it's taking us extra time, I can't leave. There's just too much of it. This floor is like. It's like a gold mine. You get it? It's like a gold mine. It really is, though. You get so much. <laughs> and a little bit more, maybe? We literally take like zero damage a tick sometimes from fire. We've got that much damage reduction. That's crazy. And it looks like we have something that, yeah, we have, we have two wealth, I didn't even realize. So we're getting 20% extra gold. Nice. We just got that passively from, uh, from the blessings we've been getting. From removing curses. There you go. Thank you, and shop, please be good to us. Immolation. Pilfering this late on isn't necessary, but it's nice. How much loyal do we have? We only have three loyalty, so we're getting 30% cheaper shops. Uh, fuck it, it makes my life easier. It doesn't actually cost us that much. Let's just take it. Makes my life a lot easier. Apart from if we're duplicating, which it makes it a little more annoying. But we're not, so I'm fine. There you go. Easy, easy, easy. What do you got for us? Can't do any of those. See, just Wayland boots. Why do you have to be so garbage? I should blow up both of those, right? Yeah, there you go. Yes, pilfering is like... I think pilfering and miner's flask are two of the items that I've turned around on most in this game. I used to, like, hate both of them and never want them. But now I'm, like, both of them, I'm like, fuck yes. Makes my life so much easier, makes healing better, all that sort of jazz. It's just great. Blow that up. Put this in here. Going around here. Love getting miniaturized at this early on. It's so nice. Had it for the, basically the entire run. It just makes our, life, makes our life so much easier. Don't forget about these. On all these gems. And our way we go. We've got two more, um, two more shrines here as well, which is another buttload of blessings. Right. I love them enemies. They're such a cool design. No, don't destroy my rocks. They're my rocks. Oh my god. It just keeps going. Nothing can stop it. Alright, let's go for our shop. Nothing can stop this. This is crazy. And into the shop we go. This has got for us. There it is. There it is. A gold duplicator. Also a cash removal, which I will take. I might as well take the fire walkers, because it's just extra speed. Yeah, definitely noticing that speed. That's lovely. Right. What shall we do here? More savagery seems great. Um, <laughs> Let's just go for more wealth. I guess. More exuberance. Wow. It's just too good, man. More wealth. More wealth. <laughs> god. Oh my god. It's insane. Let's uh, let's remove some curses here. <laughs> Eighty percent more gold now. If we just find one, like, killer room, 
This is going to be insane. This is a killer room. Take out you two. I took a lot of damage to that room, but it's fine. Pretty much close to a hundred thousand from one room there. Good, good, good. I like that. Wow, that was that was beautiful. I think we killed the music. I think Yeah, we, we went so hard the music died. I really hate the fact that we've got exploding bombs though. It does it does make it very difficult to do this. Because we're destroying a lot of the, the a lot of the rocks that we could be using for gold, but it's fine. There you go, the music came back. The day the music died. Right. Take that. Take that. Just have the those two ongoing for us there. Health. Ha ha ha. So funny. Cash removal. Cash removal. Healing. Thank you. Thank you muchly. Good, good, good. That is what I like to see. Sir. We've still got one more floor until our, until our boss fight, so these are going to be a little bit pointless, but we'll get them for the entirety of this next floor pretty much because of uh, minor twasks, so can't complain about that. We're up to 200,000. We, we actually... I pushed myself into the fucking hole with a bomb. Oh, I had two secret rooms left, you bastard. <laughs> I've never done that before. Fucking this, this bomb size is throwing me off. And we will take a re-roller. Might as well. God damn, that was annoying. I can't believe this though. Getting 80% more gold. Yeah, don't even, don't even try, friends. There we go. 16 damage they deal. That's nothing. Yeah, there's another, another big chunk. Double chest drop from that one. There we go. Bit more of that. What's this going to hold for us, shop? Could you make this run any better? Not particularly. I mean, we can do this, which is going to give us a little bit more damage. Which is nice. A little more damage is helpful. But it's nothing major. Just puts our damage up by another, like, 20? 20's, 20's pretty big. 20's no joke. Hey, and it's this as well. <laughs> Lovely, I love it when that happens. You're just bombing for, uh... Oh yeah, that's very nice. You're just bombing for, for gold, and then you end up finding secret rooms. That's what I like to see. Extra bombs. God, I keep hurting myself. I mean, it's not like it matters. We're back up to full health as soon as we pick up our gold. Wait, if we I'm pretty sure we've got so much extra healing from um one of our from this heartiness that we're getting two healing for every bit of gold anyways. Don't worry about the damage we're taking, people. It's fine. Got some cooked food in the floor there anyways. And look at all this gold. So we do got to remember we've got a re-roll here. So if, this, if we don't like either of these, we do have the ability to re-roll. Swing damage though. You can't say no. Can't say no to swing damage though. 
I'm just going to drink this now so it's not in the way. So we don't have to run through our potions trying to get the right one. But here you go. We're on to our boss at 1 hour 14. Uh, and we've actually got two of these potions active still. So that's nice. We're getting a little bit of benefit out of these. This is... It's a bit so-so how this is going to go. I still think we're going to win right now. But it could, it could be quite difficult. Depending on the attacks he does. Yeah, don't do that, dude. But we're only taking 21 damage there. That's nothing. And we've got enough cleave to stay out of the way of most of his major attacks as well. He's onto two heads now, I think. Damn it. Got the wrong one. Yeah, let's go and take out these before they become a problem. Mainly the reason to get rid of them is for when you get poisoned. When, when the spider comes into it and you start getting poisoned and all that jazz. Yeah, don't worry about this. Okay, we can't see his health bar anymore, but that's fine. <laughs> Didn't even need any of our uh, versions. Yeah, let's take out some of these bad boys. Don't worry about the damage we're taking. It's, it's all fine. Let's take one of these, just, just to heal back up a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We had a lot of safety there, but we ended up needing it. We we did absolutely fantastic there. And we came away with 260,000. We got about 160,000 from that one run, which is pretty incredible. And we get our next summoning stone up to summoning stone 15. Summoning stone 14 was absolutely destroyed. Probably one of our more, more powerful runs we've had yet, which is kind of insane considering I thought I was going to be a bit rusty coming back. But Sylph really knocked out the park, getting Diversion, Inverter... Well, basically, we got we got the Holy Trinity. Inverter, Holy Guacamole, um, Diversion, and Sylph. It's like the best thing you can get. So just look at all those beautiful items. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. I know it was a bit of a longer one. As I said, as the uh, Summoning Stone levels go up, we are going to be going on some of these longer runs sometimes. But yeah, I know that you guys that are watching the series are enjoying it. So either way, I'm, I'm guessing you're just getting more content. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.